everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm bringing you a makeup video for once. Um, so I'm bringing you my everyday makeup collection. Now I was gonna do a, shh, I was gonna do a normal everyday, no, I was gonna do a normal makeup collection, but I thought this would be a bit more interesting as these are my everyday products that I will use every day. So yeah, this is everything that I use most every day, sometimes I switch it up, but regularly. It is all inside here, so let's just get started. So the thing I hold it in is a acrylic makeup box, um, and it's actually called a jewelry box, but a lot of people use this for makeup. You can get these anywhere, um, Amazon, eBay, sh local shops that sell stuff like this. So we were gonna get mine from Amazon, and I think they're around 20, 25 pounds but we actually got it from a BHS because we were there home shopping. I'm gonna put it down, it hurts my arm. We were there getting stuff for our living room and a bedroom, well, my mum's bedroom because she just redid hers. Um, and I saw this and I was like, oh my God, I need to get it. It was a bit more expensive there than it is on Amazon. Um, it's 45 pounds there. But the Amazon ones were out of stock for literally like two months and I was like, I need something to put my makeup in. So we got this, we paid half each, so really for me it was only £20, the much I would pay usually. Um, so yeah, this is from BHS, but you can get them from anywhere. And they're super handy to hold your everyday stuff in. So, I don't really know where to start. Um, I think I'm going to start with the palettes. So I personally do not put the palettes inside of there. I put them inside my makeup drawers and then just collect them every day because I know where they are. So I put them right at the front. Um, so I use two makeup palettes every single day. Um, so the one I always use is I Love Makeup Naked Chocolate Palette. This is so pretty. I go on about this so much. My friend Ellie got me this. I always mention her in a video. Um, but yeah, literally, I love this so much. I don't even think they're that expensive. I generally, I don't know. She got me this. Um, but these are the colours inside. So you can see, you're starting to see the palette on this one, the bottom of it, because it's so nice. It's this gorgeous rose gold colour and it's called Divine. And then I use Wonka and Milky for my eyebrows. So this is such a good palette. I love it so much. And I use this every single day without a doubt. And then the next palette, I kind of had to pick a few and then pick the one I use mostly every day. So this is the Sleek um, Makeup in Oh So Special 658. Now, I never used to use this because I used to think the colours had a lot of fall. But the way I'm doing my makeup now, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I have been using this about all of the summer holidays. So I thought this would be a bit more better to put in this video. Um, the colours I love the most are Organza, Gatia and Give Basket. Um, I'm really not good at pronouncing names, but this is seriously such a nice palette and I use this for my eyes every single day. Sometimes I do switch it up, but normally this is the palette I would go for. Now moving on to the actual box, so I'm going to go for the front section here which holds my foundations and primers. Nearly fell. So I recently cleared the makeup box out and put all the stuff that was just in there for display in the makeup drawer because that's supposed to be literally just my everyday makeup and it was just so full and I couldn't add anything in it. So I did recently clear it up. So I've got down to one primer which is really hard but I've got the collection Prime and Ready. Primer in Poor Mini... Poor Minis... Minimizer. Poor Minimizer 1. Um, and this is such a good primer. I don't use primer every single day. I really only wear it when I go out for like a night out because it really does mattify your makeup a lot. But during the day, I like quite a glowy, natural makeup look. So this is a lot better from nights out for myself. But this holds your makeup so well. Next, I have the Romel London Lasting Finish 25 Hour Wear Foundation in 103 True Ivory. Now, the only reason this is in my everyday makeup box at the moment is because I do fake tan on my neck. Um, I'm literally going to stop soon because I can't be bothered. I, I like, I hate being so white, but it's me. So, I recently went and bought this um, foundation, that's what it's called. Um, because I'm going to stop fake tan now, I just can't be bothered anymore. So yeah, I do use this when I fake tan, it is such a good primer. I always go to find the lightest shade, 
but it's never in stock so I kind of had to give up this has such good coverage and it's really good for the summer because it's so lightweight so I definitely recommend this so much if you can find your shade now I did just mention I picked up this and this is the L'Oreal Paris True Match Super Blendable Foundation in Ivory Rose um, 1. So this is the lightest one you could get and it's from their new, I don't know if it is new, it said new range. Thanks. It's, I think it said new range, so I'm guessing it's new range. Um, they're light range, so it's for light skin people. I'm a ghost, I don't know if you can see. I'm so white, it's unreal. So I really hope this matches my skin tone. Um, the only foundations at the moment who's actually matched my skin tone is NARS Sheer, Go Sheer Glow Foundation. So I'm really hoping this does because I've heard so many good words about this. So I actually haven't used it yet, but you know, I'll give you a first impressions when I do. Next, I'm moving on to this section here, which holds my Beauty Benders um, primer and concealer. So I keep my two beauty blenders in here. These are Primark beauty blenders. Um, I've kind of stopped using beauty, beauty blenders um, for like three days when I used to use them religiously. Um, but I just wanted to go to brushes again. I, I'm like that, I switch up so regularly. Um, but yeah, these are my go-to um, beauty blenders. They're not actually, I've realized they're not too good. This one is so much better than this one. This one literally just soaks up all the product that is on your face, whereas this one does blend it. So this one's definitely better than this one, but this is so dirty. It's actually quite embarrassing. Next, I have a eye primer, and this is the Revolution Aqua Seal Lid Eye Primer. I never use this anymore. I'll only use this on a night out because um, usually I'll use a concealer which is the collection last imperfection ultimate wear concealer in fair one um, if I want to prime my eyes now and I just put a light eyeshadow over the top but this is my go-to eyeshadow primer if I do use one um, but usually I don't so I don't know why it's in my everyday makeup box but you know Next, I'm moving on to the back compartment, which holds all of my mascaras. And yes, I use three mascaras every day, even though there's four here. But I use three every single day. So first, I have the MUA Mega Volume Mascara in black. Um, this is, I only use this to separate my lashes. So if I'm having quite a bad lash day, which us girls have sometimes, um, and my, la my latches... Yeah, my latches, <laughs> my lashes always get so clumpy sometimes. So this just separates it and gives it so much more volume. So that is why I use that. And these are my go-to mascaras. So I have the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast Mascara in black. Then I have the Ramel Extreme Black Wonderful Mascara. And then I have the Maybelline Last Sensational Multiplying Mascara in Intense Black. This gives so much volume, it's so good, I love it so much and this is such a good base coat and then this is just to top it all off and to do my bottom lashes. So now I'm moving on to these little boxes here. So there's two, four, six, eight. There's eight um, little squares, you can't really see, um, but they're all little different compartments. Um, so in here I keep two lipsticks I don't actually use them, it's kind of bad, um, but they just fit perfectly and they look really cute. So I have the Maybelline New York ones, oh I remember the, I literally haven't used these in ages. So I have um, the Divine Wine one which you'll see in a lot more of my videos soon because it's my go to lipstick in autumn and winter which I can't wait for, they're my favourite seasons. And then I've got 148 Summer Pink, I haven't used this all summer. I used it all of last summer, so yeah, I don't really use them. And then I don't actually keep this in my box, I just had to put it in there because this is actually what I wear every day. So this is, this is the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker in, I don't know, because the bottom bit peeled off. So um, this is so good, I'm wearing this at the moment. Um, I only did just pull it on because I literally just did my makeup. But it goes a lot more matte as the day goes on and it just, that just makes it stay on your face or lips for longer and longer which is so good and so relevant, no, so helpful. But then I have the Ramel Eyebrow Pencil in 002 Hazel. 
Um, I love this pencil. This is such a good pencil, but I'm not really using it at the moment. I'm using just um, eyeshadow. Sounds a bit weird, but it's not. Then I have the Benefit High Beam um, Highlighter. I've actually had to put two um, cottony thingies at the bottom of it because it's so small it would have just sunk in. But this is such a good highlighter. I use this underneath my foundation for more of a natural glow and then that way it doesn't mess up my foundation. It tends to do that. Then behind it I have the Collection Speedy Highlighter Stick in 01 pearl sheen i don't think this one had no um i didn't used to like this because at the beginning it had loads of little bumps which i guess were the sparkly parts um but now i've used it and used it and it's gone a bit more blunt it's quite a nice creamy texture so yeah i'm actually quite liking this at the moment once again i'll use this underneath my foundation because it can can come off quite harsh and make lines in my foundation but I still really like this. And then I have another product that I recently picked up and this is the Collection Precision Contouring Stick in Light One because us ghosts cannot um, wear dark contouring. So I haven't actually used this one yet. Uh -huh. So I can't really give you an opinion yet but I will definitely give you a review on both of these. Oh, I nearly dropped it. Once I have used them, I will definitely give you a review or feedback. It may be in my next video or the video after. I don't know when it's going to be, but hopefully it'll be soon. Then I have the Ramel Brow This Way Styling Gel in 004 Clear. Um, thinking of this, I actually haven't put this on today. Completely forgot. Um, I'm going to do that after this video, but I always use this every single day. It just keeps your brows in its place and doesn't make them move or rub off, which is just always good in the summer. And then the last thing on the top section thing is another collection product. I like collection apparently. And this is the Extreme 24 Hour Felt Tip Liner in Black. This is so good if you're just really bad at doing eyeliner like me. Um, this is so good. It's a felt tip. I need to open it with one hand because the other hand's holding the box. So this is what it looks like. Um, seriously, it is so good if you're just really bad at doing um, eyeliner like myself. So definitely pick this up because it has really good um, intensity as well, which is always good for eyeliner. And then the last little section this has is a little pull-out drawer here, which is actually really cute. Um, Apparently I have a ring in here. I've been meaning to take that out for ages. I'm gonna do that now. So I keep all my powder products in here. So I have the Ramel London Stay Matte um, Press Powder in 001 Transparent. Such a good powder. Um, I always used to have a collection, went on to Ramel, and they're definitely gonna be my two favorite ones. Um, this is so good and it keeps your makeup from cracking or melting off in the summer. That sounds a bit drastic, don't it? But it is good, trust me. And then I have my bronzer. Um, this is such a good bronzer. I'm not going to speak about it too much because I always do. But it looks like a chocolate bar and I like stuff like that. So, yeah, it has a bit of highlighter in it because I use the same brush for highlighter and contour, powder thingy. And then the last product in my everyday makeup is my MAC highlighter i love this so much so this is the soft and gentle highlighter um this is gorgeous so this is what it looks like i kind of had to do an up close on this one just for the pure fact it is so pretty not to so it's just too pretty not to do an up close on so this is so nice this was 24 pounds um quite a lot for a highlighter um this is my first ever mac highlighter first reviews so impressed um it is so pretty like i've got it on now and i can literally just see it i love this so much i recommend it so much um this is the second to the lightest one the lightest one's a bit more of a white powder a bit less shimmery so um it's going to create a little white dent in my face so this one I can just go all out in, um, which I'm really like doing. I just love highlight. I'm like the queen of highlight. Like, I love it so much. 
So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash the thumbs up button and comment down below if you have any MAC products. If you do, what ones do you recommend me to get? Because hopefully I'll go and get some more and then do a review on them. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I am posting quite a lot of videos recently. And um, because it's summer holidays, soon have to go back to school. But, you know, that means winter, which I like. So, not all bad, but school is bad. Um, there will be a back to school what's in my bag video soon. Um, but I'm not the person to go back to school shopping quickly. I go like in a week or two. So, it may be quite near school. Sorry, that may not help you, but it's just the way I do it. Um, so, yeah, expect that very soon, and I'll see you all soon. <laughs> Bye.